What's up guys, this is Eagle Slayer 95 coming at you with another video. And today I want to talk about the recap the draft a little bit. And I'm gonna start out obviously with Devontae Smith in the first round. It was a A plus pick. That was outstanding. You know, I'm still kind of shocked we did it. And gotta give Howie credit there. That was like wasn't expecting that to be honest. All around A plus pick. The best receiver in the draft, perhaps. And we gotta automatically have a number one receiver, which will be do bonkers for this offense with him and Hurts, his old college teammate. That'll be something to look at. The next pick we got is Landon Dickerson, center from Alabama. And I'm gonna give that a B plus because the only reason it's not an A is because he has three ACL tears and an injury history, but it shouldn't be. We shouldn't be too worried about it because he's most likely going to red, red shirt all season. So Kelsey hangs it up, most likely. A good pick there. Sorry if you can hear that, this car's going around. Yeah, the guy just pancakes people left and right. And he's a very stellar lineman. You know, he'll get the job done, protect your quarterback. I think he only allowed one sack since 2017, which is outstanding, if you ask me. So I'm going to give that a B. Next pick we got Milton Williams from um, Louisiana State. Louisiana Tech, I think. Defensive tackle in the third round. Very powerful player. Gets pressure up the line. Bench presses, I think, 500 pounds. Pretty impressive. You know, kind of versatile. Gets to the ball. I'm going to give that a B. It's another great pick. Um, he's compared to Aaron Donald, which is... You know, it's a cool to compare him to that, but it's a little like I'm a bit of a reach because he hasn't even breathed a snap yet. But I'm gonna give those give those people the benefit of the doubt, which that all comes to analytics with that statement, if you ask me. Next pick we got. Kenneth Gainwell from Memphis, running back. Um, I was very pleased with that pick. I didn't think we were going to get a running back. I didn't think that was on the draft board. Very, I actually like that pick a lot. He's very versatile, got great hands, speed. He'll kind of be like a Swiss Army knife with Miles Sanders and Jordan Howard and Boston Scott. You know? So, I give that a B plus. At first, I was like, why do we need a running back? 
But then I watched his tape and his highlights, and I like, that guy's nice. Yeah. Next one after that was uh, Tua Topolia. I'm sorry, Marlon Tupoloto. I still can't pronounce his last name, but that was a move I was kind of iffy about. Because I'm like, why is Howie drafting another two linemen? Because we needed a, a corner. We eventually got one, but I'll get to that in a minute. He's from UC, USC. I think he's like 280 pounds. Something like that. You know, big, big dude. Generate. He can generate pressure. He can get sacks. He can beat his man with ease. Effort. He makes it look effortlessly. So I'm gonna give that a B plus, or maybe a C. Yeah, I'll go with a B, B minus for that. The next one we got. I think Zach McPherson from Texas Tech corner. He is a pretty stellar, solid corner who happens to be a big Eagles fan, which is pretty cool. But um, I'll give that a B plus as well. Maybe an A minus. He was ranked, I believe. I think he was supposed to go what, the second, third round he was projected at? But what did we get him, the fourth or something? I'm not complaining there because corner is one of our biggest needs. So there's that. Nonetheless, B, A minus. Did I say A minus? No, I said a B. B minus, yeah. Anyway, who was after him? Taron Jackson, defensive end from Coastal Carolina. That's a very good underrated pick, you know. Very versatile. Edge rusher, has explosiveness, can burst up through the line, blow up a play with an instant. I'm gonna give that a B minus as well. He was, he was actually projected to go, I think in the early rounds, but his stock dropped for whatever reason. I guess there was just too much talent all around the board. But I'm gonna go go with a B on that. Yeah, very good defensive end, edge rusher nonetheless. Who we get after him? Jacoby Stevens from LSU, safety. He's uh, this was my personally my favorite pick. You know, he's a uh, very, very, very. Very solid safety who could possibly be a linebacker for us because you know how we are with our safeties and doing with linebackers. And you know, the last safety we drafted and moved into linebacker, you know, how all that all you turn, ooh, you all know how that turned out, which was, yeah, I'm not going to talk too much about that, but nonetheless, Jacoby Stevens is an absolute monster you know he can defense a ball he can break up plays all around very sideline to sideline safety can control the pace of the game 
I think he can be a good, possibly vocal leader in the future. So, not complaining too much there. Jacoby Stevens is a fucking savage from what my eyes see. And the final pick in the draft from this year was linebacker Patrick Johnson from, um, I forget what school he went to. Let me know in the comments. If, I'm sorry about that, but I'm sorry if you can hear the truck, school bus. I'm going to give this a C plus. He's a very solid, I think, good linebacker at best. Not great. He can, um, very explosive. Um, he can... Has good IQ, and um, he can. Um, I don't. He's gonna start or anything like that. Not for a while, maybe a couple years from now. I'm gonna give that a C plus until he hits the field or develop him in the near future. Then maybe I'll give him a. You know, we'll see how he does along with the other guys I mentioned. Overall, I'm going to give this draft a B-. minus. I can't really complain too much about who we got. Maybe besides... I don't know. There's not really too much to take back and um, really criticize about. We, we missed on a few guys, but I'm not going to cry over spilled milk over that. I believe other guys in the war room wanted a particular player, and then Howie just missed on them. But the, you know how that goes, that happens. But, you know, it is what it is. B minus draft, very solid, very. I welcome all of them to the team and see what they can do. Looking forward, very see what these co new coaching staff can um, develop them, see how that all goes. Very interesting to see what um, Jonathan Gannon can do with these young bucks. And um, there's that, man. We also signed a few undrafted free agents. We signed quarterback Jamie Newman, I think his name is, from Wake Forest. And I'm actually kind of surprised we took a quarterback. He's kind of – I didn't watch too much tape on him. I didn't – I don't watch college football like that. But he could um, give Hurts and Flacco some good competition, I guess. Not like he's going to see the field anytime soon, if at all. You know, he'll get a lot of preseason time. And can he beat out Flacco? It's possible. Will he? I personally don't think so because Flacco's a seasoned vet. You know, he's not what he used to be, obviously, but, you know. So there's that, and we got, we drafted a wide receiver from Florida, Trevon Grimes, who is, uh, I've been following this dude since I think for a while now, and he's very, very good, very, very explosive, very fast, great hands, great footwork, great route running. I think he can make the roster with, um, I think he can beat out probably Greg Ward or Jay Arthega Whiteside or somebody like that. You know, he can, this wide receiver room is going to be stacked, man. Hightower, Watkins, Rager, 
Fulgham. Yeah, so very. So look at that. We signed like, I think, like seven more or six free agents. But I'm gonna get to them in another video because I haven't just haven't had the time, you know. It, does, it all, when the draft ended, it just all came like that. There was like ten more <laughs> new draftees. That that happens every year. So um, there you have it, guys. That's the 2021 NFL draft. That's my recap. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know who. You think Howie hit on somebody? Let me know your favorite picks. Did he miss somebody? Are you happy? Are you sad? You think it could have went a different route? You think he... Was this the best draft class in a while? A couple years? That remains to be seen. But anyway, I'm going to let you guys go from now. This is Eagle Slayer 95 signing out. Love you guys. Like, subscribe if you want more content. Love you guys. Peace.